Okay, hey YouTube. It is Monday night, and I think um, next Monday, I think it's one week from today actually now, uh, maybe 10 days from now, something like that. I don't know. The, it's January 29th actually. It will be my four year hormone anniversary. So, four years of HRT. I actually recently just started taking uh, Prometrium or micro. Micronized uh, progesterone, basically. I'm trying to mix up the routine a little bit, see if I can't stimulate a little bit of breast growth, and um, you know, see if I can't get up to a B cup or something like that, rather than where I am right now. Um, anyway, you know, I I took progesterone back when I was starting hormones for a few months and then I ended up taking a break from it because I thought that's what was causing my kind of severe skin reactions which turned out to actually be spironolactone that was doing that um, which I don't have to take anymore which is why my skin has become much more tolerable and manageable and doesn't hate me as much um, all good things so like a week ago or so, I asked on my Facebook um, what I should talk about in my next video and somebody asked me to talk about my expectations with transition and um, whether or not um, I'd sort of met them as a result of my transition. And I think that the short, the cheating answer is to say that no, I didn't um, sort of have my expectations met because I, in fact, kind of exceeded those expectations in um, just about every way imaginable. So yes, that's a bit of a cop-out answer, so I guess the sort of more honest way to say it would be to say that, uh, yeah, like transition kind of did what I thought it was going to do. It made me a happier, healthier, gentler, kinder um, person. It made me <laughs> um, myself instead of, uh, you know, just sitting around pretending to be somebody else. Um, but that said, a lot of the expectations that I had for myself, I didn't want to say that I set the bar very low, but I just didn't, um, you know, think that I would pass, for example, or pass well, um, or even be considered attractive. I still don't think that I pass all that well today. Um, I still don't think I'm that conventionally attractive today. Um, but I guess I do all right. Um, I don't think when I went into transition that I um, expected to get so much uh, like the relaxing, like the clarity. The, um, I don't think I understood the, uh, the kind of benefit that you get from transitioning and then not having all of these doubts or these fears or these questions bouncing around inside your head like, well, what's going to happen when I transition? Or will I ever pass? Or as soon as I start hormones, everybody's going to be able to tell them they're going to disown me, right? And I think that's sort of my point here with this video is that we have all of these expectations and ideas in our heads about transition. And typically, um, I think we tend to sell ourselves very short. We assume that you know, we're not going to get a lot out of it. And we kind of have these really low expectations. I think in some cases, these expectations are almost too low because we're sitting here expecting to, you know, get the shit kicked out of us, get treated like garbage um, and face transphobia. And while that does happen, um, it doesn't happen nearly as much as people make it out kind of to be, especially if you're not a trans woman of color. Um, and so the discrimination, at least in my experience, hasn't been there. 
and, um, you know, like, <laughs> it's, uh, that's a privilege, obviously, um, but I think it's a privilege that's going to be shared by a lot of younger, particularly white, um, transitioners. And, um, I think we tend to then kind of let those expectations slide elsewhere, like, I'll never get surgery, or I'll never get nice tits, um, an attractive face, a boyfriend, a job, um, my birth certificate changed, all sorts of things like that. And I think that at the end of the day, um, our expectations are really just um, mile markers for our transitions, and really we can kind of get and achieve whatever we want. Um, some things a little bit easier than others. Some we will definitely need the help of the community or people outside of the community. But, um, like, <laughs> transition exceeded my expectations in just about every way possible. Um, and even if I had set realistic expectations, it still would have because um, you know, like I told people, I was at a speaking event a couple weeks ago, and I told the people there that, you know, this, if this is what normal feels like, um, I'm on cloud nine or whatever, because with transition mostly behind me, um, it's like, I get to live the rest of my life as myself, and, um, I don't think you can really set the bar um, correctly for that because I think it's a very powerful feeling to um, be able to do that and um, have the life that you want. And once you get that, like, anything is possible.